All right, I thought I'd do a little video on the installation of a node lock, which is one of the most simple installation, but sometimes, yeah, there are issues that do happen. So I'd like to step you through the, you know, the guide and go through every step. Obviously the guide over here tells you what happens when you're doing a new installation. So let's take a look here. New installation process for network. OS new installation process for single network node lock. This would be this one on page 10. Just telling you what to go through, making sure that your USB is installed. And uh, if you want to do a custom, if you want to go and search for your, um, how do we say that, your license file. Let's say you do have an installation and you do have to update your license file, but you want to stay at the same version well uh, that would be not update product software but update license and license manager so there's a way to doing that also but right now what I'm gonna do is simply when we get that email with your license file usually over here your host ID explained or, or your reg number you go down directly and start downloading the installation file this downloads everything basically on the left hand side over here this downloads all the can 350 everything the blueprint it has every license file worldwide in that executable so basically you almost not don't need your license file you could go directly from there so i'm gonna pause this and jump straight to the installation when it's finished while i'm taking my coffee all right i'm back so depending on the speed of your internet uh, as for me uh my kids at school today so he's not downloading heavy stuff from school or doing something else on the computer it takes less than a minute and sometimes two minutes all depending on the speed again of your internet and maybe the time of day where many people from around the world are downloading from the servers of downstream which may be you know reducing the speed so you got your file over here so just click on it and it's in download double click on ah i wasn't double click open the executable from it and it's going to take you through some steps which we're going to do this together so do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? So yes. Really? All right, so yeah, next. I accept the terms, obviously. Uh, if you need to go through them, read them, uh, make sure that you understand everything. Press next, install or update license. Uh, you want to install choose this option for first time installation installation or updating the license file license manager updating to new release all these things you choose this option install downstream products only but it won't go through the procedure of installing your license so let's go through the whole thing even though in this case I'm already all installed everything I got everything on this computer it's everything's installed already license file everything so basically i'm doing an update but it doesn't matter i'm just going to go through the steps so install let it do its stuff by default i install it on c This setup will perform an upgrade on downstream license. Do you want to continue? If you have one, yeah, it's gonna update your existing license, so do it. If you don't want, don't want to take a chance that it updates your existing license, just rename your license dot uh, dat or something else, you know, just making sure that uh, it, it won't overwrite it.
Welcome to Install Wizard Rana. The install will allow you to modify, repair, remove downstream license manager to continue plus next. Don't worry about it, it's just going to update it. Change which programs features are installed. This option displays custom selection, change features are. I'm just reading through it because it's been such a while. I haven't updated my license in all time too, you know, to put myself up to date. You know what? Even though I have my license file, I haven't even touched it. It's still licensed at what it, what it came in as. I'm just going to install it from media. The media is what the executable you downloaded. And like I said, when you download that executable, it comes with every license file worldwide. It's just, it has to recognize the key that you have installed. Or in my case, uh, my Mac address on this computer. Or you could say browse to find the license file, but you know what? I'm just going to install it directly from the media. I'm not even going to bother. Please select the setup type. All program features will be installed. Required among the space, yes. Install beginning as license, sure. Install. It's great that the this they created this before you had absolutely nothing. The screen would be blank. The um, the cursor by itself wouldn't even go on like a um, one of those sand things, you know, to tell you that there's the, uh, you know it's taking time to do something. So I'm glad that this is uh, this was added. The downstream technology license manager service is installed and started. Great. Okay. The downstream technology license file checked out. Test is okay. Perfect. All right, now you're finished, but not totally. Give it a chance, it'll come back. Don't touch anything. You install the Blueprint and CAN350. In my case, I have both. So yes, I have to install. But you're allowed to pre-select what you want to select, uh, to install later on. So yes. The setup will be performed, the upgrade, the downstream 6.5, 14.5, do you want to continue? Yes. And there you go, just install. Resuming installation, wizard, downstream 14.5, uh, yes. Next. Okay. Or if you're hearing some clicking, I'm checking on my phone other emails that are coming in. So I'm answering those at the same time. <laughs> I'll probably speed up this process. Oh, oh, there you go. Finished. Like I said, it's basically under three minutes doing a quick installation. Finished. Okay, let's bring this one back up. And let's see, um, give it a chance, making sure everything is installed and ready to go. Let's double click on CAT350. It might open another screen here, but uh, you know what, I'll bring it across. Yeah, it does open on the other screen. There you go. So basically everything is cool. Um, all FlexLM, everything you needed, the program will see, will load it automatically, directly, and we'll go straight to it. Take a look, see a blueprint. I got the latest version, 
open on the other screen. Say OK on there. Give it a sec. There you go. Bring it over. And as you could see, that too is ready to move forward. I'm ready to open. All right. So uh, hope this helps. And um, thank you very much for watching.